you just re-upped for three years. So you're, yeah. so you do enjoy hosting your show. Yeah, I do. I, I like, um, I like working with the people I work with. Yes. I like, um, I like the people who run the network. I like, um, uh, I like, I want to be on the air when Donald Trump goes to jail. Um, <laughs> I very uh, much want that. What a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> I, I think I would be heartbroken if I was what's not your gut, What's your gut tell you? And you know people. What, what do you think is going to happen? Gut, uh, first of all, I'm going to yes? tell you, my gut always tells me the wrong thing okay. Like when it comes to Donald Trump. But I still believe, even, even after living through the OJ trial and whatever, that I still believe that justice triumphs in America. And, um, and I know there are billion different examples to the contrary but i just there just seem to be too many different cases against him i mean the yep. guy is how i mean how can you commit this many crimes and be this unethical and be this you know this this terrible and get away with it i just i think the, his own the only way he's going to get away with it is if uh you know he has a heart attack or something, and uh, and and that's the last we see of him. And I feel like in some ways that's what he's trying to do. He's just trying to draw this out right. until he dies, well, or, or until uh, there's no democracy left. And yeah, well, that escaped. is that he's he's perfectly okay. I think with um, with that being the consequence right. of his his actions to save himself. Uh, this is what I mean by it, what you talk about on the show nightly is not. Politics. I'm sure you get crap from Trump yeah. supporters. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. this is beyond politics. Yeah, this we're is talking just about basic human decency. I mean, you got it. I wasn't a it. George Bush fan either, but yes. I, I didn't go after him every night and you whatever. Didn't have I, to. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think that at at his core, he probably. I mean, obviously, he made some mistakes, but um, they all do. Yeah. And um, and this idea. I, mean, I got to tell you, what really burns yeah. my ass. And. Um, it's just Joe Biden. Look, I mean, whatever you think about him, a decent he's human a being, decent That's human right. being. He's a nice old man who cares, who quite plainly yes. has cared about people through his whole life. And this idea that he's some kind of like, dem- I mean, it's just like it's such a stretch. You can't even believe it. Like you go, like what? Yes. Like. Uh, <laughs> Okay, what the what the fuck are you people talking about? <laughs> I mean, you might disagree with them, yeah, but he's certainly not evil. I mean, I if you believe that, you've got some real problems. So these are extreme political views you have. <laughs> and does ABC ever say to you, "Hey, could you not just attack this side and and uh, lay off a little bit because we're going to lose those people"? There was at one time. Maybe, I don't know, like right around the beginning of this whole like Trump thing where... This is now eight years ago? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Maybe not quite that long ago. That that was like kind of hinted at. But yeah. I just said, I said, listen, I get it. I mean, I, I don't disagree. I mean, you're right. I have lost half of the, my family, maybe more than, than that. I mean, when I, you know, 10 years ago... Uh, among like Republicans, I was the most popular talk show host. You know, oh. I mean, you know, was, at least according to the research that they did. But, uh-huh. um, it, and I get it if that's what they want to do. I just said, listen, if that's if, if that's what you want to do, I understand, and I don't begrudge you for it. But I'm not going to do that. So, you know, if you want somebody else to host the show, then that's fine. That's okay with me. I'm just not going to do it like that. And um, they're like, all right. <laughs> really? Yeah. They didn't No. Oh, they 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 knew I was serious. I mean, uh, you know, I I just I can't I couldn't live with myself. I see this, you know. Yeah. Well, you're doing a public service. You, Colbert, the Seth Meyers, the, these are the guys. You're the guys who well, I don't make it, us feel I don't like think of it we're in not that alone. Grandiose uh, away, but I do think like, you know, I love this country too. I yeah. mean, you know, um it, that flag doesn't belong to them. That's right. This is ours. And uh, when I see somebody coming in and ruining it i'm yeah. gonna say something about it and that's it that's as simple as that well i'm telling you you don't have to put it that way but i'm putting it that way and i think a lot of people feel comforted knowing they're not alone where you don't think oh is it just me am i crazy when you guys come out 
and you do this wonderful material that's that's funny and enlightening and I true. feel like that about my colleagues. I, I, I you know, when I see, you know, Steven and Yes, you know, but you're right there. You're yeah. doing no, it. No, I feel I just I feel like proud to be part of this group. You should be. You should be. Um because I do think that there is, you know, there isn't a sacrifice that you make uh when it comes to your audience, you know. Yeah. And you could do pretty well if you just just stayed right down the middle if you yeah. wanted to. But. Are you surprised, like Trevor Noah, who uh, I had a great time working with the last couple of years, when someone like that doesn't want to keep going forever? Like you clearly mm-hmm. have done this. You're running the marathon, and and the shows is better than ever. But no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me. It, it more surprises me that we do keep going because it's a hard. You know, it's a hard. I mean, it's not. We're not digging. Obviously, there are certainly jobs harder than ours, but. It's it just takes your takes your whole life over, you know, something you have to think about all the time, nonstop. Yeah. And I could see why, you know, stand up comedy, it's other than the travel, it's an easier life, you know, it's an, it, and there's some wisdom to just enjoying your life. And also Trevor Noah is, um, you know, was not born in this country, so maybe he doesn't. You know, maybe he wants to go home you know? <laughs> or you know? anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here. Jimmy Kimmel saying Trevor Noah should go home. <laughs> See, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the anti-immigrant bias of the Jimmy Kimmel show is really a problem. Uh, Jimmy, we love you. Uh, I'm such a fan. I'm so proud 